Hey gamers, I'm Steve Nash. And I'm Felicia, and this is our review of chocolate. This game is like a box of chocolates. What's your favorite chocolate, Steve? I always like the one with the cream filling. The cream... I was being sincere and asking I was you, too! Okay, well, what brand of chocolate is it? I like Godiva. I like the homemade brand. The homemade brand. Yes, mine's always in the gutter. Your mind is in the You're gutter. You're making me blush today. Stop it. Oh. Uh. Wait till later when I make you scream. In chocolate, players are trying to give the best offering to the god of chocolate in return for victory points. In the box, you'll find the playing board, which is separated in six regions and has the victory track around it. Summary boards for the players to see the rules at a glance and the other side has all the six regions. Cards for each player, numbered 0 to 12. Large and small improvement cards, which players will try to win. The bonus markers, which give you plus one in all regions except the village. Two figures, you have the man of chocolate and the old man. Three white dice and seven black dice. And finally, cubes for each player and one white one for the fifth area. Players will play round after round, going through each region for each round. Here's how to set up the game. Place the board in the middle of the table and give each player a summary board, cubes of one color, and matching cards of the same color. Each player then places their disc on the victory track. From the 12 cards in your hand, each player will choose one card and play it face down in the center of the board. This card will not be used for the entire game and will give you victory bonus points at the end of the game. Place the white cube on the leftmost spot in area 5. You are now ready to start playing. Let me explain the board and its areas. Area 1 is where players will bid to try and win the chocolate figure which breaks ties. The player with the lowest bid gets the old man which gives you minus 1 to all of further bids this round. In area 2, the three white dice are rolled and placed. The highest bidder wins victory points for the bigger number there, and the second for second biggest and the third for the last number. In area 3, place a black die. The winner of the area can take the black die or he can place a cube in an empty building and take a plus one token which will give him plus one for the rest of the game. The second highest bidder will do the option one the first player did not do. In area 4, the highest player can place two of his cubes to start building the pyramid. If he did not win by three or over in his bid, then him and the second highest each put one cube instead. In area 5, the highest will win the biggest number under the white cube and the second highest gets the lowest number there in victory points. The lowest bidder of all the players loses 2 victory points. Finally, in area 6, the highest player picks up the big moon card and the second highest picks up the small moon card. When you pick up a card, discard your lowest card from your hand, so you always have 12 cards. So those are the areas of the board. Here's how the players will bid on each location. In each location, Players will secretly bid two cards and reveal them when everyone is ready. Once revealed, calculate the order and receive the benefits of that location. For example, when starting the round at location 1, each player will show two cards. These cards are then used and can't be used again during this round. The winner gets the chocolate figure, which breaks ties during this round. The lowest will get the old man giving him minus 1 to all his next bids. Now players move on to area 2 and so on. At the end of area 6, the white cube moves right one spot. The figures are placed back in area 1, the three white dice are re-rolled, and another black die is added to the village. Once the board is reset, another round takes place. The black die, in case you were wondering, can be used to increase one of your bids by rolling it. If at the end of the game you still have one, you can roll it for that many victory points. There are three ways you will be bidding on each area. Before a round begins, check the color of the spot under disc of the player who is winning. This will determine how the player will bid this round. The yellow spot means that players will bid using two cards during each location. If it's red, then each player must place all their cards in each location before starting the round. If it's in a green spot, then each player places one face up for each location, and then one face down. The game ends after seven rounds, or when the pyramid is complete or when a player has no more cubes. Here is how you can get bonus points in the end. You get three bonus points for having the chocolate figure, 
You lose 3 points if you have the old man. You get 1 point for each cube in the pyramid you have. If you have majority, you get an additional 3. You get victory points equal to the card you placed in the middle of the board. If your card is the highest there, you get an additional 3 points. Finally, if you have a black die, you can roll it for victory points. The player with the highest points wins the game. So in all, players are going around the board turn after turn bidding two cards at each location to get victory points, bonus tokens, and replacing their bad cards with better ones. It's a nice family game with some strategy and luck involved. The artwork is nice and goes well with the game. The rule book is really good and explains everything in detail on the left and summarizes everything on the right. The summary cards also help during the game. Overall, the, it's an okay game for those who like to bid and don't mind slow games. We're offering chocolate a 7 on 10.